stars at the moment, aren't we? And uh, you met up with Kira Knightley yesterday. Yeah, absolutely. It's the world premiere of her new film, The Duchess, tonight in central London. And she popped into the studio yesterday to have a chat. Good morning to you. Good morning. You're looking lovely this morning. It's, it's odd, having seen the film, that you've got such a small amount of hair. Yes. Yes. Because the Duchess has, has more hair... A large than amount of hair. ...anyone I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. We're a very difficult marriage. Do you yeah. think that's fair? I think that's, that's fair. That's kind of underestimating it, I think. Slightly. Yeah, I mean, it's about many different things. It's sort of, I mean, it, I think she, she was an extraordinary character. She was sort of an incredible fashion icon, and, and politically she was, um, she was extraordinary. She was a huge political hostess for the Whig Party and, and a very strong lady, but um, she had this incredible sort of in huge public persona. Mm. You know, she was, she was a big, I suppose, big star, a big celebrity of that time, but, but um, her private life was... And incredibly sad. Heaven's sake, that must be a right old pain, all those corsets and It's really difficult. I mean, it's good because it gets you into character and all the rest of it, and they look amazing, but it's a big, you know, you can't breathe in them. So you're <laughs> constantly kind of trying to draw breath. And, and eat. you can't be very ladylike after you eat because it's very difficult. The food, you know, you're constricted. So yeah. the food sort of goes Don't you down. loosen it a bit for lunch? You loosen it a bit, but you have to tie it straight back up again. Of so belching was a big problem. But so it was me and the lovely Hayley Atwell, who plays another character, yes. Bess, in the film. And <laughs> after lunch, you could just see the sound guy kind of laughing. <laughs> we were both <laughs> belching the whole time. Trying to get the wind out. Yeah, exactly. So Better out than in. There's a really wonderful sort of uh, relationship between you and, and, and um, your lover in the film. Yeah, Dominic Cooper, yeah. Dominic Cooper, who is, who is, I mean, it's just, it's just fascinating to watch that unfold as well. Yeah. And there's some saucy scenes between the two Very of them saucy as well. Scenes. Which must have been sort of quite intriguing because, you know, much You're like, not actually going to play a saucy scene, Well, we're going to get as saucy as not we can so early this time in the, morning. in the morning. Come on. No. But I understand it wasn't quite as sexy as we might have assumed. Oh, yeah. No. He was wearing a, a skin-coloured nappy. <laughs> for most of them, which is sort of what you never see in these sex scenes, is that actually it's the worst underwear in the entire world. That was the underwear of the time, or is that what the no, underwear? No, that was just his. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a premiere tonight, uh, yes. which, I mean, it's always a great affair when you get down to sort of in central London, Leicester Square, and you yeah. have these big premieres. Are you, are you going to be all dolled up, corseted and high-heeled and... Do you think I should go dressed as the Duchess? It would be hilarious. I could get the wig on, You'd big You'd take hat, about four everything. seats and they want to be able to I sit would. around you. Yeah, I couldn't get into the car either. That would be a problem. <laughs> but uh, no, I don't think I'm going to do that. Now, I know that you've auditioned for My Fair Lady. The film's not being made just yet. No. But you've actually doing some singing properly. You've sung in the Edge of Reed. Well, I did it, yeah, I mean, I did, I did do an audition for it about a year and a half ago. Oh, OK, right. It went very well, apparently. Right, so there's potentially it might happen. Maybe. Who and knows? the album and the single? What, what, mine? Yeah. yeah. Christmas number one. Why not? <laughs> no. Someone's got to take on Simon Cowell on The X Factor. No. Oh, wow. Maybe I could go on The X Factor. Would you do that? No. <laughs> no I didn't think so. Far too busy. <laughs> Kira, it's lovely to see you. And you. Best of luck with this film. Um, uh, we really enjoyed it immensely. It was, it was fascinating to watch, and, and hopefully it'll go really well tonight. Yeah, fingers crossed. Thank fingers you very crossed. much.